Can you tell if I'm looking at you? <laughs> Just realized. Take those off. <laughs> um, not like it's helping to up level where I'm at on the cool factor. And the fact that I would say the cool factor is makes it pretty obvious that I shouldn't be on whatever scale at all that that is um, for who's cool or not. So uh, I I was just thinking about my. I don't know if you heard me grinding my teeth there. That's interesting. Um, but I was just thinking about how... I get nervous about screwing things up or failing. I talk about that a lot, but I think a lot of us guys think about that quite a bit. Um, but specifically, I was thinking about the shame behind that. Why... It, why do we feel like that? Um, it's because of shame. Because you feel like you're not tough enough or strong enough or smart enough or quick enough or resilient enough. You're just not enough. When you feel like you're not enough, you feel that shame washing over you. I, I was uh, I was meditating a few moments and listening to uh, Brene Brown talking on a podcast, and she's talking about her latest book. And I mean, most of you probably know, but she talks about essentially shame and vulnerability <laughs> things that she talks about. And then courage, but courage has to do with shame and vulnerability, actually, and bravery and all that. So, which I think she's, she's studied for, like, decades, like, shame and vulnerability. Anyways, she was talking about shame and about, and of course, vulnerability. <laughs> Not to be a broken record. But she said something about the podcast host was asking, and it was Lewis Howe's School of Greatness, in case any of you listened to that. Um, I I was just really hit by something she said towards the end. And she was talking about, she was asked what she would say to men everywhere in the world if they were listening. And she basically just said, she said, show up be your authentic, most authentic self and share your heart which essentially oh, and share your heart and then she said because we know what's in there we know, we already know that you're lonely and that would be part of it or the sense of loneliness I don't know about you, but for me, I I do get a feeling of loneliness. I mean, I, I'm very extroverted, outgoing, love to be with people, but I mean, you can feel lonely even when you're with people sometimes. And of course, you can feel lonely when you're by yourself. And then there's times where you just feel like you're totally on your own level, all by yourself no matter if you're with people or not. And uh, someone, my friend Brian, shared a cool article on this Facebook page about that with men, and I was just thinking about that. Like, yeah, like... No matter how much we work at this, uh, we come back to, there is a sense that, oh yeah, I think at whatever level you're at with your own owning up to and being honest to what's in your heart. I think if you're a guy, especially in this, I, it's the same for women too, but I think especially with the guys, like if you sit with yourself for long enough, you get this sense 
of loneliness, and that you're alone. And that's the truth of how you probably feel, but the truth of what... You know, get into some whole discussion about truth and reality, but but the truth of of existence in our reality collectively as say like a male human beings, male sapiens, uh, homo sapiens. <laughs> I am not a scientist. I am not <laughs> skilled in that area of technical naming. Uh, but if you're a guy and you feel lonely, that's truly how you feel. But there's also this other truth that you actually aren't alone. And I hope that if for some reason you've come across this video and that you're thinking about that, or now you're thinking about it, I hope you know that you're not alone. Not really. You may feel lonely, but you're not actually alone. And especially if you feel lonely, you're not alone because there are those, most all of us feel that way. And we're all wrestling and struggling with these things. And if you ever need to talk or chat, um, you know, we all have busy lives. I have a busy life, but at least uh, if you have no one else to reach out to, um, I'm here. Reach out to me. Shoot me a friend uh, message, uh, messenger. <laughs> I don't... Am I... Facebook's a thing, right? <laughs> but just reach out, and at least if no one else is out there, I mean, I'm here. Just wanted to throw that out there into the social universe, social media universe. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you know you're not alone. And you're loved by something or someone out there and yeah don't be a stranger <laughs>